live. Ain't nobody in here now, though. Oh, you know what? Can you hand me my, uh, can you reach over there? My, my gimbal is in there. Peace and blessings, Your Royal Highness. We uh, we had the surprise for you guys, and we try to direct you guys as much as possible to subscribe to YouTube. So congrats, family who is subscribed and getting the news uh, firsthand. We kept this under wraps because, I mean, the whole litter is sold out, but we are really excited to bring into the world our Royal Giants litter. And... It was very interesting because <laughs> mom decided, well, basically, when we love puppies, we have um, a designated building for moms and pups. So we have a doggy door so that mom can come in and out of the doggy door, exhibit A. So uh, mom decided that she wanted to whelp the litter underneath our, um, our house deck so this morning came in to check on mom and mom is nowhere to be found so we're looking for mom everywhere and then i hear puppies crying and come to find out mom gave birth underneath our deck so the deck has about i want to say two feet of space to crawl and tree so my husband is seven foot tall I am 5'9", so we both look at each other like, who's about to go up under this deck to go get mom and puppies out? And, uh, you know, I'm just like, ah, uh, you can do it, but, you know, of course, physically, height-wise, it just, it's not doable being seven foot tall in a two foot crawling space. So anyway, I did the dirty deed and went up under there and spider webs, possibly snakes and bugs and crawled up in the mud and, um... Got puppies out, got mom out. Everybody had a bath. <laughs> and uh, we're back in here with our dura whelp set up that they're supposed to be in. So that was very interesting first thing this morning. Definitely wasn't expecting to wake up and do all of that, but we're here. We have six beautiful babies that are healthy. Um, I believe we have three boys, three girls. Um, have to do a recount. They have literally just been born this morning. So this is an extreme blessing and we're so excited to to raise these guys and just watch them all develop so we're very thankful and grateful that they're all healthy and mom is healthy and doing well hope you guys enjoy this live and make sure that you stay subscribed and turn on post notifications so that you don't miss anything because we will be using our youtube platform a lot more to show footage of puppies of our dogs of training of our life of our kingdom with our royal giants wow, yeah they're all they're all consistent in size there isn't one that's like super tiny so they're they're very healthy i wonder if she you think she does i mean she might she might well what more just taking a break it's possible Somebody at the front door just to clean it. Um. No. I told I told the cleaner not to come. Oh. And really, with newborn puppies, um, and this is just information for anyone if you have puppies or just knowledge to know when they're born, you don't want them to be crying. So when puppies are crying, they're either cold something is wrong with the puppy um, or they're hungry. So you wanna help them get to their, to their mom's milk so that way they're satisfied. Um, so when everybody is, is quiet, we just put on our, uh, our heaters to help them get to a better body temperature. And they should pretty much just have like a little <laughs> noise here and there, but you don't want all the pups crying. So we monitor this every minute to make sure that everyone is good.
Yeah, they're quiet and, and drinking mom's milk, so they're nice and satisfied. Everybody is um, solid black. I didn't note any markings except for one that has white on the chest. Um, this is pretty standard in litters. Um, in Giants, we do have kind of some that have some white patches, either like on the chin, sometimes on the feet, chest, just really depends. Um, now, as far as like their coat, Giants also have white in their coats. It just depends on the pub, on parents, how much white, but this is standard in Giant Schnauzers. Um, they can be solid black, but you're always gonna have some white come through, but everybody is completely black when born and just as they grow and develop and depending on the choice of grooming, you, you have more white hair than others. Like if you shave, typically you're gonna have more white hair in the coat. If you um, hand strip, which is breed standard and confirmation standard, you can have less white hair. Um, it's just what it is. But peace and blessing, your Royal Highnesses, for those who are just coming into the live. We have just brought in our litter, our surprise litter. Um, all puppies are reserved. And we're we're very excited to share our journey and experience with these guys and for you guys to see the documentation of their growth. Um, They're gonna be some phenomenal dogs. So we're, we're truly blessed, truly grateful that everybody is healthy. Um, Mom, once we post the live, you'll be able to see uh, here in the beginning the story of this morning's birth. <laughs> it definitely was out of the ordinary. Um, very funny story. I think we'll be able to tell a lot of people and laugh about. But um, everybody is healthy. Mom is healthy. And... Uh, Everyone is stable, so we're very grateful. And if you see a little bit of mud on them, it ties back into the story earlier of how they were born. Uh, we, we cleaned them up as best as possible, but it's kind of not a routine to wash newborn puppies, so. We used lukewarm water and got up off as much mud as possible from mom having her spur of the moment birthing idea. They're beautiful. We have nice consistency and size across all the puppies. So really looking forward to see um, how they develop. This is a dual sire litter from Marcus Garvey and Black Royalty. So we will be doing AKC DNA on pups to determine the sire. <laughs> I think they are blacks. <clears throat> yeah, I think so too, but still do a DNA. They're so cute. We will be doing um, tail docks within five days. So whenever tails are docked, the procedure is done by the veterinarian um, when they're first born. This is so that uh, the tail is not really developed um, and that it's a less painful procedure. So we will be getting ready for that and schedule an appointment today. Ear cropping is not done till a way later time in their development. Um, right now, they're actually blind and deaf, so they use their scent and their touch to maneuver. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below, and we'll answer them in a timely manner and try to be as informative as possible. Oh, it's a live chat. No. There's a live chat. Option, I don't know. They're <clears throat> so cute. <laughs> the mud on 
No, no, no. no. <laughs> oh my gosh, the mud was so crazy. <laughs> and what was wild is they were freezing and then um, putting them in the, the warm water, they it kind of helped them stabilize their temperature. And I had that pad underneath the towel once I was drying them off. They were good. All right, guys, we're going to tend to mom, tend to pups. Thank you for watching and tuning into our live. Be sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications. If you have any comments once again or questions, please leave a comment in the comment section below or go to royalgiantschnauzers.com for general information on our programs. Peace.